living from your center, living from your God particle, from being empowered, um, being in control, being aware of the playing field, so to speak. Um, I would think if, um, if anything, perhaps as a running theme throughout all these uh, previous videos of decoding the hive mind, it should be apparent that there is a, a type of a dynamic in place, an agenda. Um, if anything, that material would lead one to uh, be more objective about what this reality is that we're all part of. And if anything, I think it's probably easiest to operate from identifying a digital matrix, a, um, a type of um, alternate reality, if you will, that it could be said without any kind of hyperbole or exaggeration or alarmist uh, opinion that most people live in a world that's informed by their handheld device, their smartphone, um, you know, the internet of things, uh, just basically, um, you know, for the most part, it's easy to, to see where people are informed by, um, you know, electronic media, all right? Um, so with the decoding the hive mind materials, I think it's easy, if, if I were to have a discussion with somebody who was, you know, watched those videos, I think that we would probably be able to uh, converse upon the topic that reality is almost, it can be viewed as like a, a program, a software program. Um, if you use the analogy of, of computing science, um, you know, that our mental, our, our perspectives, our viewpoint are an individual's software, you know, um, the operating system in a sense, and there's, you know, you can take that analogy uh, much further, um, but, you know, the genetic vehicle, our physical body as the hardware in a sense, and, um, but anyway, I think, um, I think it's safe to say that there, there are two, you know, uh, in, intelligent, aware individuals um, that aren't invested in any one sort of ideology or, um, you know, they can, they have the objectivity to be, you know, um, con considering, consider, considerate of multiple viewpoints of what possibly this reality could uh, be comprised of and, and what we all go through. Um, and, then, and then there's this software program called religion. And religion easily is a, um, a flashpoint, if you will, of um, where communication can quickly break down. I used, to, I used to play with that dynamic. I used to enjoy seeing people disintegrate and blow up and, and, and their, their emotions overrule what they're seeming, you know, on the onset, very assured, very, you know, confident, but easily their reality easily picked apart, easily dismantled. Um, so religion is, is a software program with, in, within humans that is easily a point of contention where people just lose it if you don't tie in to whatever it is that, you know, that program or that app that they're trying to sell you. So with that being said, um, I want to share this, and this is a, a email in regards to my former uh, YouTube channel that was called the High Plains 
High Plains Drifter, Drifta. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was kind of a, an email handle that I had made a long time ago. Um, and uh, that, that email handle ended up becoming, for me, um, you know, a type of ego attachment. Um, you know, it was kind of something cool and fun that I was able to tie in diverse uh, influences, you know, and, and, but at the point where this channel was removed by YouTube, it was easily um, a ego. For me, it had become a very um, subtle working from my super ego. Um, and I was creating a whole nother sort of fantasy reality in my mind about who I was through that. And so anyway, it, to make a long story short, there was enough energy invested in it uh, to see where YouTube would, when they made the decision to take, to yank the channel, to ban it, to just outright overnight and send me an email and, and tell me, um, you know, we know this, we have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of our community guidelines. Um, and then, and I read this email and, and I had, you know, already discovered, you know, because I had my routine, uh, morning routine where, you know, it, it was fun to, to get up and, 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 and my reality was um, coded at that point, you know, at that particular point in time for me, you know, that I had some kind of mission or some, something to, to get up and do. And so anyway, it was removed and I knew about it. I knew that, you know, it was, it had been banned, but this was the first official notice. Uh, and then, but this is the, the line that we know this is probably very upsetting news. Well, immediately reading that, you know, I instantaneously just made the decision that despite it being a shock to me, despite it being a little, um, you know, the, the reason, and then reason severely violates our policies. And um, here, so let's be a little bit more self-honesty. Content glorifying or inciting acts of violence is not allowed on YouTube. Well, that is, in my estimation, is a gross, gross uh, exaggeration. Because trust me, it's, anyway, I'm not gonna get, go down that rabbit hole. Suffice to say, instantaneously, where I, my super ego was a little bit annoyed. And if, you know, the super ego is not, the super ego is an, it is an a, a elevated type of human ego that is somewhat more um, empowered, but it's still a type of ego that will lead to ruin and destruction if you try to live through it. So there is another, layer of awareness that is the god particle that is the god awareness that your higher self and even that conduit of communication if it's open and and pure will guide you in the right direction and a voice the voice because we are fractals of god and if we live from that knowledge and it's open within us and we are humble within that knowledge, that voice of godly wisdom, of your higher self, of Buddha wisdom, of Shiva wisdom, it will come to you and it will calm you. And that still calm voice, it will, it will let you know. And so the, that line where it says, we know this must be very upsetting to you. Well, I immediately, because there's a, you know, there's a part of me that's just stubborn. And, uh, and I was like, well, I made up my mind. No, it's not very upsetting to me. Because it was just so funny. They, that YouTube, that Google, that their world, they are so um, arrogant in their, in their presumption that, that they are the world. That their little digital matrix just 
you know, is the world. And it's very upsetting to me. Well, no, my shadow side kicked in that stubborn part that, you know, it has led me to obtuseness and, you know, and to quote my spiritual mentor, Credo Mutois, yes, I can be a quixotic backwards donkey. And much to my own, you know, um, dis disempowerment or, you know, just dysfunctionality. Um, but that stubbornness, that shadow side, which, you know, they say, Carl Jung says, you know, be careful when you examine your shadow side and trying to eliminate that because sometimes you throw out those best parts of, of you. So anyway, long story short with it, I said, well, no, it's not very upsetting to me. And it's not going to be very upsetting to me because I could have invested a lot of, you know, energy and trying to appeal that and all, and rather just realize, or that still voice, that godly voice of wisdom and higher knowledge come in and say, no, dude, you were, you were getting a little carried away with your whole high plains drifter persona. And while I was not glorifying acts of violence or anything like that, I did, I did see where my ego was getting a little bit out of sorts. And there, you know, and, and, and so I let it go, you know, and, and, and realize that, that, you know, while it's debatable to, to, to pursue that point about glorifying violence, I, I saw in my, in that, or that wisdom let me know, well, you can approach things in a different way that are completely, you know, you can completely avoid that type of um, assessment by this, by, by, and I had that, I had some energy in me that was kind of, you know, wonky that I needed to deal with and get and, and, and transcend and, and, and I needed to have my, you know, cathartic moments. And, um, and so anyway, um, we're programmed, you know, our software and our, and our things that we have, we can be our own worst enemy for sure, but as a, as a race, as a group of individuals on a planet, we have definitely been tampered with. We have definitely been programmed at, our, at a fundamental level to fail. And we're seeing that right now. We're seeing that in a very um, grand, uh, you know, spectacular, um, <clears throat> you know, fashion with the human race and what's been going on. And, uh, and it's been quite by design, folks, okay? You know, this, the religion program is, man, if it, any sane person, anybody who has to be able to have an objective viewpoint, who can, uh, who can arise beyond whatever it is, their own particular paradigm, um, and, and just have to say that, look, yeah, there's something going on here for an intelligent group of, for, for this, all this taken in its entirety, we are fundamentally flawed as a race of a human race, regardless of our background. And trying to live through the ego, the lower ego of the third dimension is only, it only will result in more psychotic behavior, um, dysfunctional actions, dysfunctional outlooks, viewpoints. You can't, we can't as a race, cannot pursue and expect to pursue and have solutions, resolutions via our ego and our limited perspective from our own, whatever it is, paradigm that we're operating from, whether it be under a national, you know, I'm an American, uh, I'm a Christian, I'm, all these things are just, lower ego that have been um, manipulated and exploited to be where we're at now. So all that being said, this is the website of the, the book um, where I introduced in this last video about um, the, the angel of death. Okay. So this is the website from a, uh, Um, the person who wrote that book and he's his first language uh, is 
Espanol. Um, habla Espanol poquito, but you know, anyway, um, the, his, and I alluded to the fact about the, the verbiage and the writing, the, the English of, of his message, you know, and someone reading it and saying, oh my God, you know, this person is, ob you, know, you know, obviously not a native, you know, English language feature, but it's, it's, it's acceptable the way he writes because it challenges and it, and it, I, I think it works well for the message. Um, what am I doing here? So this website, I wanted to introduce the author of the book um, that I'll make it, that I'll start and make another video. I wanna read that book um, because I think it's very important for us all to, to stop and re, reboot <laughs> and examine the software programs that are seemingly so deep um, within our, our um, operating systems that are leading us to ruin. Um, and so, and, you know, and, and, and go through and open up our, our programs and apps and, uh, and, and remove, you know, delete those programs that aren't serving us. Okay. So anyway, this author, um, you know, according to, um, you know, here you go. This is the website. He has festy.com or what have you. So together, whether you believe in God or not is all the same to us. If you stay together, we will forge a new idea of unified racial condition. The universe is getting a new name. We are going to have to call it the universal intelligence. Surely your skin color is already included in our universal intelligence. We need to learn, study, and accept that organic life is not the only form of life, that all life consists of a system of memory retention and transfer of such data. Life will be required to feed memories to, universal, to the universal intelligence. The meaning and purpose of death will be to transfer these memories from the realm of physical consciousness to the realm of spiritual consciousness. Life forms will need to be created, be born, learn, memorize events, and then die for the transfer of data to take place. We will need an actual, credible, and acceptable concept of human origins, one that does not rely on ancient documentation, alteration, and adulteration of facts to create nations and religions that practice human degradation by self-supremacy behind the names and work of pre-Noah extraterrestrials on Earth. After 37 years of research, we believe to have such concept. At the end of the day, everything fits together like a well solved puzzle. Some are loving it, some are hating it, but all are storing memories in their souls, memories created by us. We will need to associate our level. So you see, this is a very, this, um, there's, uh, you know, this in and of itself really deserves a whole nother video just to go over all this information. But I, um, I think presenting this at the onset um, if anybody's truly interested in, in, uh, in this ne these next couple of videos that I make, um, and you'll see what it is we face and in, in the, in the programs that, <clears throat> that we need to um, delete from our overall makeup. And, you know, time is critical. Um, and, you know, it's a new day. A new day will dawn. And like St. Paul said, you know, I mean, he dies daily, so that's the way that we have to kind of uh, approach with new eyes, with new vision, with new connections, and new emphasis on what really matters. Um, and you know, whatever happens in the outside 3D world is going to happen. It's beyond beyond me. The only thing I can do is arise and be when I come from my dream state and from. And that's a whole other world. Those are other dimensions. And, um, but when I, I come to consciousness and, and the sunlight's in my eyes and I realize, okay, well, here I am. How am I going to create this day? You know? And um, so let's create a new day, a new world, a new earth. Namaste. Namaskaram. <laughs>